What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 18 tutorial. Now in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create this really, really cool magnifying glass effect that you can actually make appear anywhere on the screen. So let's say I'm going to hold up my hand right here. It is really simple how you can just magnify that part or a different part on the video that I'm going to show you guys right now today with some studio footage. So if you guys are excited for this effect and if you want to see more, of course, make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching. I would say let's get started making this really, really cool magnifying glass last effect right after the intro. All right, guys. So now that we are in Vegas Pro 18, as you can see right now, this is a clip from the studio from a couple weeks ago. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use this clip, for instance, to show on or actually zoom in rather on certain parts that creates this really cool magnifying glass effect. So let's say that you are, for example, having gameplay or you want to have something, you know, zoomed in in the background, but you don't want to zoom in like the, your entire screen. It's really cool how you can create like this really cool, you know, circular shape that you can actually zoom in on a little part on a big part and all of that I'm going to show you guys right now. So the first thing that we need to do is the clip that we will have where we want to zoom in. We want to have that in our timeline right here and we want to basically duplicate it because we're going to create this really cool magnifying glass on top of the, you know, the original one because otherwise we'll just have a circle with a black background. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to copy this. So we're going to right click, you can hit copy or you can press control C on your keyboard and then control V and then we're going to go and match these two up so they're exactly playing at the same time. So what we're going to do is first we're going to group these. Otherwise, if you're going to start cutting, for example, they're not going to be synchronized anymore. So I'm going to hold left control and I'm going to double click on them so they're both blue and highlighted and selected. We're going to right click and we're going to hit group and we're going to hit create new or you can just press G on your keyboard that will create a new group. And right now these are you know together and no matter where we cut, as you can see, everything will go along. OK, so now that we've done that, we want to basically, you know, choose where we want to have the zoom to happen. So let's say that this shot is, you know, a little bit further away than, for example, this shot. So let's say that we're going to zoom in on my left hand that's playing on the neck of the guitar. So you can guys, for example, see like what I'm playing and like on which frets. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to make sure that we will only have the blue one and the top one selected, because if we're going to apply this effect while we have both of them selected, we will apply all the effects onto all the tracks and we don't want that. We just want to only apply it to the top track. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the video effects tab, which is right here in the middle of the screen on the left, and we're going to pick the cookie cutter, which is right here. And now, of course, we have all kinds of shapes that we can choose from. For example, a circular one, a square one with a border. We can have like this triangle. We can have like the opposite one, a circle cut out, a standard blurred. But what we're going to do is we're going to pick the default and we're going to drag that on top of the clip. Now, as you can see, nothing really happens because we didn't actually make the zoom yet or anything like that. So that's why it's still looking the same. But we have this little cross in there. So that meaning that the effect is there. So how we're going to actually do this is pretty straightforward. Forward. Now we're going to go and lower the opacity of the bottom track, or you can just hit mute this little icon right here, just so only that or loop and the part that we want to zoom in is visible place or marker on the place that we want to zoom in. So of course, it's way too big because I only want to have it, for example, like this. So how you can adjust the size like this in your preview is just go to the size menu or the size slider rather in this menu of the cookie cutter. And then you want to make it smaller and smaller, of course, like this. Now, right now, it's just only you know, selecting that part. And if I unmute this track, nothing really happens. And that's where you need to resize this entire video track so it looks magnified. So how we're going to do that is we're going to click on the track motion icon of the top track where we have the cookie cutter on. And then we're going to make this one a lot bigger. Let me drag in this window right here. So now we're going to click on the edge of this box where we'll have this circle. And if we're going to drag this bigger, as you can see, that is what it looks like. And now we will have our magnified glass. Okay, so let's go ahead and position this on the same center because we don't want to go ahead and move this guy around because we're going to only use the track motion. That's very important, guys. Don't use the track motion to move this mask around because if I unmute this track, as you can see, it doesn't look magnified. So we're going to go and right click and hit restore and only going to use the track motion to resize to make it bigger or smaller. So that basically means that you will use this cookie cutter tool itself. If you click on this little cross in here, this is where you want to position it, you know, where 
over on the screen because then it will stay the same because you're not going to use the track motion icon to move it around only to make it bigger. So zoom in on her hand. We're going to place this cross on her hand. Now let's go and increase the size of the actual zoom as you can see like that. If I just lower it, this is what it looks like and that is how you can do it. And now we're going to click on the track motion icon and we're going to make this guy just a little bit bigger as you can see like that. So now if I go and put the opacity back up, this is what it looks like and this is how you can go across the screen with the entire zoom effect without moving like the track motion box and you just want to use this magnifying cookie cutter tool in order to zoom in on specific parts as you can see so that is how you can do it and this is how you want to you know for example go over in a certain frame and it's really really nice that you can also have like this feather onto it so let's say that you want to have don't have like a sharp edge if I place it right here on my shirt if I bring up the feather as you can see it will make this nice you know kinds of like soft edge and it's a really really handy tool how you can magnify things for example like this to make it look less harsh and it is that simple you can also create like a border you can set the color to any color that you like for example red if you want to magnify something and it's just going to go along really really nicely everywhere on the screen it is that simple this is how you can make this completely custom and also for example multiple times if you put the repeat on x that will do it like you know on the uh, horizontal way and this is going to the repeat y is going to do it on the vertical way and how you can have like multiple zooms you know for example like that into your screen it's really really nice how you can customize it i would just like to keep this on zero and of course the size is something that you can like totally you know see for yourself if you want to have it a lot bigger or smaller and that is basically how to do it guys this is how you create like a really really cool magnifying glass effect in vegas pro 18 and there's nothing more to it all right guys so that's it for this video now you guys know how to create this really really cool magnifying glass effect in vegas pro 18 now if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more of these vegas pro tutorials every Every week on the channel make sure to hit the like button down below and also let me know down in the comments what you would like to see for future videos thanks a lot for the support and i'll see you guys obviously in the next one